Hey man, what's good y'all? Welcome back. Today I'm finna show y'all how to do punk drums, alternative drums, how to achieve that type of bounce. You know, like Travis Barker, Ian Dior, just like Green Day inspired. You know, it's getting used in hyper pop too now. Even in like normal trap beats with like a alternative section where there's like real type of drums going on. Yeah, let's get into this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, y'all already know what to do, man. So first of all, y'all gotta make sure y'all get a crazy like rock guitar type of melody. You know, like this right here. Shout out Nash. And it gotta be a high tempo, so like everything above 160 will probably work, you know what I'm saying? So I just got this drum kit right here. You know what I'm saying? We got the... Then we got this. So an important step right here is to, you know, have a crazy open hat. There he is. There he is. Right. And then we finna add... We'll probably do a part where like the kick pattern is more simple and one where it's more complex. But I still don't like that kick pattern. I want that kick to be louder too. I hit harder. And we need a bass line and like some variation in the drum pattern. I think that's cool, I think that's cool, I think that's cool. So with this new Melodon, I mean it ain't new, it's been out but I just got it, it even shows you what chords were being used, 
we in D major right here and you know the first chord right here is D sus 2 G B A D sus 2 G sus 2 B A that's the chord progression I'm finna try to just freestyle a bass do a few takes open Omni for this one you already know bro best Best bass sounds. I know Rickenbacker bass, I is cool, but I ain't gonna lie, it's been especially the new Triton. Oh, not Triton. Trillion updates been crazy. So, like they added a lot of good bass sounds. Now we kind of done, to be honest. Let's try. Ooh. Oh my god. This is perfect. Alright, so the be kind of done. I got one last thing I want to do to really make those jumps hit. Right now, I don't have them processed separately. So I got the kick, the hi hat, the snare, the crash, all in one channel. It kind of adds to the authenticity when you just have the whole thing processed as one. But I'm finna show y'all some cool, cool shit. So first of all, we finna have these two channels. We finna put those two on the bus. So we route them right here, drum bus. Now we finna put some parallel processing on the drums. So we finna put a, I know there's other ways to do it too, but I always like to use the free send, insert six, and then we got it right here. The first thing we put putting on is this EQ right here, crazy EQ, this makes it hit harder. I'm finna put another EQ on it. The lows. I want it to affect the low end. I only want to have that crunchy sound out of it. I'm gonna boost this with a side band. I like that right there. We ain't putting no reverb on it because this already has this room sound right here. And that wraps it up for this video, man. The beat is pretty much done. Just a quick little recap on how to make these type of beats. You gotta have 
multiple drum patterns in that type of style, realistic style. Addictive Drums 2 is a perfect plugin for that. Obviously have a fire rock guitar melody. You can also have unique bass lines. Mine was kind of basic, I tried, but you know. I also added two variants that are just alternating through the song. But yeah, I hope y'all learned something, you know what I'm saying? Get my analog lab bang. I didn't use it in this video. I just gotta say in every video. <laughs> I already know by now, but yeah, 20% off with code N and with all that being said. Yeah, like the video, subscribe. I'm out.